Hello everybody. New Brighter here. My name is New Brighter because that's exactly what I am. I am new to the motorcycle riding uh just in general just motorcycle riding I'm new to it. Uh I've had my bike for about three months. Actually, you know what? Oh, December, January. December, January, February. March. About five months. Oh, that's right. Whoops. Have my kickstand up like an idiot. Alright, well, like I said, my name is Noob Rider. This is my first moto vlog. First of many, honestly. Um. I want to do this more often. Uh, I really enjoy riding my motorcycle and I want everybody to enjoy it as much as I do. So that's why I'm making this. That and honestly I want to document um, some of the fun that I have in here up in Northern Virginia because I see a lot of people have like Texas and like upstate, up north states, and then, uh, ooh, is this a, oh, it's not a cop. No, I guess it is a cop. I don't know. Well, um, and a lot of things are, a lot of people motovlog there in these states that, um, that are always beautiful and nice, uh, Florida. Texas, California, so I was like, you know what, There, I don't know if there's anybody in Virginia, and if there is, um, I haven't found y'all yet, so I figured I'd take you around here and let you see the beautiful back roads of Virginia. Right now, I'm on a road uh, called Joplin Road, and it's fairly twisty. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it recently rained. And the ground's a little slick, so I'm not going to be able to do or corner as hard as I normally do. Uh, just because I don't want to slip. Uh, especially since I don't have frame sliders yet. I kind of need, need to get those before I start doing really crazy stuff. But that's way later. I'm not too worried about that right now. Like I said, I'm still fairly new, still wet behind the ears on the whole motorcycle riding thing, so uh, so I said I haven't really perfected some of the stuff, but I mean I've learned a lot uh, the bike that I have is a 2017 Yamaha R3 um, I uh, oh wow, that was a little slippery back right there I was in the market for a motorcycle for like damn near almost a year. Um, I was looking for one, trying to figure out which one was good for me. And, uh, whoa. Um, and I was, I was looking around, I was looking at cruisers, I was looking at sports bikes, I was looking at everything. Um, and eventually I settled on the, well, I, really, I didn't really settle, but I figured out that I wanted the, the R3. Because um, my choices were the R3, the CBR 300R, I think it's R, yeah, 300R, the, Nin, the Kawasaki Ninja 300, and then I was also looking at the Honda Shadow. Um, specifically the Phantom one the um the matte black one um that's that's the bike that i got uh i got the matte black version of the r3 with the red uh, r3 symbol and stuff on it um i uh, uh what's it called like, I just lost my spot. but yeah like i was looking at i was like i said i was looking at the honda shadow and uh and I, I wanted a cruiser, but I didn't at the same time. I was just kind of in the middle 
Um, big reason why I, I wanted a cruiser was because of the saddlebags. I be I normally use my I really I use my bike as much as I can. I ride all the time, um, even in sub zero degree weather or zero degree weather in theory uh, with the windshield factor. Um, but my main purpose was to use it to get me from home to school. School is about 30 minute to an hour drive, depending on the time of day and all that other stuff. And I. My, my gas tank in my truck just eats gas like 60 bucks 60 bucks a week on gas versus 10 bucks you know what I mean um, 60 bucks a week 10 bucks along with insurance and a very small uh, loan payment uh, it's cuz I you know, gotta build my credit up somehow right uh, still equals out to about 25% of how much I spent on gas on my truck. Uh, since I got this last year, November, um, November last year, I put 3,700 miles on it. I'm actually almost, whoa, see this is where, oh man, see y'all saw that already. That, that spot right there is where I almost beefed it the first time. Uh, I don't know what it is about that turn, but that turn is just so sharp. Uh, I can't, Either I'm not I'm not comfortable leaning that far to turn sharply like that. I don't I most likely honestly I have target fixate, but I, I almost ate it last time. So you saw me almost eat it this time, but the car in front of me kind of helped me uh, realize that I needed to slow down and stop or stop because I definitely would have went into uh, that that area. But either, anyway, like I said, you know I was looking at you know my primary purpose was for school transportation. Um, yeah, I know in the winter months when it's like really, really cold or if I ice or into something, yeah, obviously I'm going to use my truck. But generally, I mean, unless it's, uh, unless it is zero degrees outside, I ride my bike. Like, I've ridden this thing in the cold, I've worn cold weather gear, all that stuff. Um, see, all, all this is wet except for the middle piece. Um, but, uh. But yeah, so like I said, I was looking for, a, and that's why I was looking for a cruiser, because I was like, you know, put some saddlebags on it, uh, make sure they lock, get, lock, you know, make sure they can lock, and I can put all my books and stuff in there, but then I was like, you know, no, oh, excuse me, I, I was talking to one of my, um, to uh, this, 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 this guy I met, um, while I was motorcycle shopping and stuff, I, I went to like a garage, and he, uh, we started talking and he's like, well, you kind of want, uh, so he said you want something heavy, 900 cc's and up if you're going to look for a cruiser because, you know, wind and all the other stuff and, and power and whatnot, you want something 900 cc's and up. Said, okay, well, the Honda Shadows are 750 or 750? I think seven, I don't know. I know they're, they're either 7 something or 6 something, 650. Um, either way, uh... He's like, yeah, you know, that's good, no, but you know, you, you, it's heavy and it doesn't have the power to push that, to push the body. And I was like, okay, all right. Um, so then I was like, well, what about a sports bike, a uh, crash rocket? And then, and he was saying, you know, crash rockets are all good and all. Uh, you won't be able to put very big saddlebags on it, but you could still do that. And, uh, but he's still saying, you know, look for some like a 600cc bike and up. Um, mentally, I know I was probably capable and mentally and uh, grown up wise, I guess you can say, I forgot what the word is. I was capable of uh, able to, to handle a 600cc motorcycle. Easy, not that big a deal. Um, the only thing is they're they're pretty pricey. Even the used ones about five, six thousand dollars At least the one that I want to get, the, oh, the, the one cc, three, uh, 600cc motorcycle that I want to get eventually and then just finish off with that because like I said I, that's what I want to get and that's it is a uh, is a Honda is a CB a Honda CBR uh, 600 LR that's that's what I want to get uh, my, my final bike I don't need I don't need a thousand cc bike like what the fuck do I need a thousand cc bike for it's stupid um, I'm gonna keep this because uh, uh, my wife's gonna learn on this one but I definitely eventually down the way down the road like two three years from now after I'm done running this one to the ground and, you know give it to my wife <laughs> um, I'm, I'm gonna get myself a 600cc motorcycle but I don't need 
I, I didn't want to get one now. Um, I knew I was going to have to uh, take out a little small loan uh, on the bike. So that's why I chose this one because I got it. I got it at a good deal. Honestly, I had it was like a Black Friday deal, and uh, hey, it's winter and we really need to sell motorcycle deal too. I got it with zero miles on it. Like I said, I put these the 3,713 miles on it. Um, I put those miles on it, minus like a half a mile because you know they had to go and fill it up and stuff like that. But I put those miles on it. So anyway, sorry, I kind of rambled on like an idiot. Uh, so yeah, so I was looking at, I was looking at those and, um, you know, the, oh, and, and the KTM, but the KTM just, they're, they're, to me, they're ugly. Uh, they don't look good. They, it, it just looks like a frame, a naked bike. It looks like a, I don't like a naked bikes. I don't, that's, that's my personal preference. I don't like naked bikes. So, uh, so that's why I chose not to, um, not even consider the KTM. That I don't like the good, the, the, the orange color too. I don't know, it throws me off. Because I wanted a 600, uh, a CBR 600 double R, I was looking at the CBR 300. And I was like, oh, it's just a smaller version of it, you know, mm, no big deal. But, uh, but I heard that it like whined when it was on the highway. And I, I'm on the highway all the time, except for this time. Usually when I go to my class on Wednesdays, I, co I come home this direction because. Uh, it's a lot more fun. It, I wish it was more dry, honestly, but whatever. And but I heard that it whined during the uh, while I was on the highway, and I, I, I read and I looked at uh, at some videos, YouTube videos, and that's exactly what happened. Like, it was super high rev, you know, it was like up in like the 10, 1100, 11,000 RPM range, uh, and, and I, I didn't really want that. So, and then so I looked at the the Ninja 300, and honestly, like everybody has a Kawasaki Ninja 300. So I was like, nah, no thank you. Uh, see, this is dry right here, but uh, the other part's not dry. Oh, crap. All right, so I'm coming up on the highway right now. But anyway, to, to, to sum it up, I I ended up, uh, I'm about to get on the highway, and I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me very well. Um, But I ended up, uh, like I said, I ended up uh, with this one. One, I didn't even know I was going to get it that day. And two, I just really like the way the color scheme is. Like the color scheme got me the uh, the yeah, like the color scheme got me the the way the way it sound, the way it looked. Like it just, I just, I pretty much I fell in love with this bike. With that, like when I for when I saw it, that's, at least that's what that's what my wife says. She said when I saw it, it looked like I was in like a little kid in a candy store and was like, I'm not leaving without this bike in my hand, you know bike uh, you know what yeah you know i'm still gonna talk right now i mean i'm not I'm, I'm i mean honestly like this is probably the part of the video where i'm gonna stop it anyway so like i really want to do more moto vlogs but i don't just want to talk about motorcycles i want to talk about other stuff too uh so just like you know hit that like subscribe button that notification button i'm not gonna tell you what to do but i'm gonna tell you what to do at the same time uh and then uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you want me to talk about. I could talk about video games. I could talk about, uh, I mean, I can even talk about current events if you want me to talk about current events. Uh, I could talk about my bike more. Uh, you know, it's like the, the modifications that I've done to it already, at least aesthetically. I didn't do any like performance parts on it, but aesthetically I put some, I did some stuff to it. But, uh, I'm like 25 minutes from home. Uh, see right now I'm actually running kind of high because I'm going like 80 miles an hour, which is not good. But uh, you know, like it's like it's really not that bad. It's hitting at about 8,000 RPM, going 73, 74 down the highway. Sometimes I go 80, depending on what's around me. Um, but yeah, so like I said. Uh, you know, uh, let, let, let me know what you want me to talk about, and I will do my damnness to talk about it. If it's something I don't know a whole lot about, I will do my research, and I will uh, post, and I will make a, oh, my bad, I will make a photo vlog of it. So until then, y'all have a good day. If y'all want to keep on watching, 
I most likely won't add this to the ending. Like, I, this won't be part of the actual video. I gotta make sure I know where to stop it though. Alright, peace!